Why the emphasis at this time on youth? Well, we feel that the hope of the future is uh, in uh, our youth, and um, I think there's been so much advertising of so-called delinquent youth that what we'd like to show tomorrow night in the Coliseum uh, is the fact that there are hundreds, even thousands, of really fine young people uh, here in Dallas and uh, in Barnes. Dr. Peel, have you ever been criticized at all by other ministers as being uh, long on worldly success and short on doctrine? <laughs> I've been criticized by them for a lot of things, including that. But, you know, I feel upset because they haven't criticized me much lately. I must be slipping. And I uh, would really welcome some good old uh, criticism. Well, getting back to your basic thinking and doctrine and philosophy, uh, do you think sometimes people are their own worst enemies? Oh, absolutely. That is true. If a person can get himself into a state of mind where he is friendly to himself and likes himself, uh, then he'll begin to uh, be a normal person. You know, the uh, insane asylums of the country are full of people who are in there because fundamentally they hated themselves. That is, they couldn't get along with themselves. They were in internal conflict. Now, what we're going to try to do in this meeting here tomorrow night in the SMU auditorium is to show people how they can get organized inwardly and therefore become happy and effective people. Would you say that negative thinkers tend to be neurotic? Well, yes, they verge on the, on the neurotic uh, because uh, the normal state of man is, uh, I think, uh, hopeful and optimistic, and when you are not that, you're not in the truly normal state. Would you say success is a byproduct of right thinking? Yes, success isn't the thing that we should aim at in this life, uh, not that is material success. We should try to be successful as persons, and when you are that, then uh, chances are that other values will flow to you. Anything else you'd like to say at this time? Nothing except that I always love to come to Dallas, and I hope I'm just going to see hundreds and thousands of our friends at the SMU Auditorium tomorrow night at 7.30.